Hey Virgos, how's it going? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Carolyn B. And I am stopping by here to uh, give you all a uh, quick reading for December 2020. So thank you all so much. Thank you especially to Nicole for allowing me to uh, come on here just for a little bit and to uh, pull some cards here. So thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, and let's just get on with it, Virgo. Uh, for those who may be unfamiliar, you are an Earth sign. Ruling planet is Mercury. All right, so this could have to do with love, anything like that. Let's just get a quick glimpse of December 2020 here. All right, Virgos, we have this card here. It says, be authentic to who you are. You are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. All right. And that's not saying that you're being fake or anything like that. Absolutely not. People may be like, oh, well, you know, they, they may have their opinions and this and that, but honey, uh, Virgos are very successful and I understand you're all in different areas of your life. Some of you may not be feeling necessarily that successful right now, may second guessing yourself. Uh, maybe you were put into an awful situation, uh, you know, because somebody else couldn't handle your fabulousness. So whatever, that is really their problem. Um, but again, being asked to being the, the real you, the true you. And, uh, you know, life is uh, not necessarily the easiest, especially with everything that's going on out there. All right. Um, this is also a reminder to, you know, possibly let you know that if somebody doesn't like the way you dress, you know, maybe whatever it is that you practice, a career path or your choice when it comes to relationships, you know, uh, anything don't be afraid to be who you are and do not be afraid of what they say not like you are virgos right it's just like carolyn please i already really don't care what other people think about me however it still can be hurtful you know uh, when people keep piling it on piling it on piling it on that's where your friends come in you know that's where your uh your spiritual family comes in your groups come in just like oh i don't think so you're not going to be talking to her or him like that <laughs> Not on my watch here. You know, if, if they want to do whatever it is, you know, as long as it's not hurtful to anyone else, obviously, or to yourself, you know, uh, people are, are, you want to praise somebody, you know, you want to be able to share your success with somebody. Uh, now, what, when it comes to love here specifically, too, all right, uh, it's just like, some of you are totally okay with being single, you know, it might be a little bit easier and I'm not going to dwell on the past, you know, we're going to be looking into the future. However, you know, uh, it, it's just like, I'd rather, you know, be okay with me, have fun with me because I feel more comfortable with me. And a lot of people don't get me. I'm talking about all of us. All right. It's like there Carolyn goes again talking about herself. No, I'm talking about uh, you, Virgo, okay? This is being authentic to who you are, again, and if nobody can handle that, uh, you know, and how you feel, too. How many times have you had to deal with somebody that's like, what, you're, you're talking crazy again. You, you, you're, you're paranoid. You're, some of you have had to deal with some real narcissists in the past, let me tell you. And it's just like, you're totally uh, reconstructing things like, Perhaps you should see a therapist or start taking medicine. And it's just like, wait a second here. Who do you think you are? <laughs> and, and, okay. Virgos, you could also be dealing uh, possibly with another earth sign as well. Other than yourself, maybe Virgo, Virgo. All right. Uh, maybe Virgo, uh, Taurus, possibly maybe even Virgo, Capricorn. However, I'm really getting a strong air sign energy that's coming in. You know, I don't want to sound repetitive, but we do have to remember that somebody here uh, may be afraid to ask or not sure. All right. Uh, and it's just like, there Carolyn goes again. She's a know-it-all. <laughs> I don't know it all. Why do you think I'm here to learn too? Just like uh, everyone here, right? We can all learn from each other. And uh, so air signs, all right. So you'd be looking at Libra, uh, possibly Aquarius. All right, maybe even Gemini, all right. Virgos, my fellow earth signs out there. Uh, 
it's just like, oh, don't even get me going, Carolyn, with the air signs that are coming on in, looking all fabulous, smelling good, you know, talking good. They've got those bedroom eyes and, you know, they they're just kind of like, oh, honey, put the work down. Come on. Let's dance a little bit. Let's do this. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with finding balance. Uh However, <laughs> however, it, it's just like, hey, listen, honey, this is my empire. This is my career. This is my baby. This comes first before anything else. I come first before anything else. You know, uh, it, it's great. And it, it's just like as soon as you tell people and uh, we advise it's great, again, to share your goals, your dreams, your aspirations, and your successes. Nothing wrong with that. However, that kind of brings them all in out the woodwork. Oh, I know you're supposed to be um, maybe going for a car inspection or, or, you know, I know you're supposed to be having that personal time with your man, your woman, you know, because you can never seem to catch a break because you're either, you know, stuck having to watch the kids all the time, having to kind of do it all, you know, maybe you're a single parent and it's just like, you know what, Where, where's the me time here? All right. Yes, it's great to be successful and everything. However, it would be nice to find that, you know, potential person there and nobody out there is perfect. All right. Uh, and there are particular situations that may come up where somebody is like, oh, hell no. However, uh, you have to listen to your own intuition. What is your gut telling you? That's the hardest thing that we all have to listen to. Uh, how many times I've waved away the uh, red flags uh, well, you know, uh, making excuses and stuff like that. We're beyond that at this point. So I'm loving this energy. All right. Uh, yeah, but as soon as you tell somebody your plans or anything like that or post it or whatever, and I understand a lot of us right now, especially in these times where we're all pretty much uh, forced, if you will, not really forced, I guess, but uh, uh, technology, the internet and stuff like that. And it's just like, I don't even want to go on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or, or start a YouTube channel or because of all the nonsense that you have to deal with. So, uh, it, it, it's, it's like a, a bittersweet type of thing. As soon as you start getting that in, it's like, all right, you know, you're doing something right. Um, you know, and it's, Somebody here is so in love with you uh, and they cannot handle to see you happy, whatever. That's the past. And I'm not saying that people can't change. It's up to you. If it's a, a relationship that you really wanted to work out, you know, uh, you know, show and tell. Make sure uh, that song. Yeah, show and tell. Like, show me. Don't just sit here and talk about it. Be about it. Uh, also, too. For some of my singles out there, for some of my especially, you know, single parents out there or anyone, maybe you don't have kids, maybe you got fur babies, I don't know what it is, whatever. There is somebody coming on in and I am loving, loving this energy. Look at, and again, this is not gender specific, all right? So you have her kind of in this, you know, cave here. It's just like, you know, it'd be nice to have it all and uh, not when I have it all have someone not destroy it or not let it get to somebody's head because of how successful that you are. And if you, again, are at a point in your life where you do not feel like you are there yet, you will be getting there. Just keep on going. Do not give up. All right. Uh, this is almost like your higher self looking at you like, honey, please get it together. Stop crying. And okay. It's good to cry. Absolutely. It's healthy. It's cathartic. It's also a way of transmission, believe it or not. You know, uh, also to sleepless nights, crying over things. It's just like, you know, uh, that breakdown crying. Oh my gosh, I'm getting the chills. Why do people treat me like this? Why do people take me like a joke, even though I'm not? Sometimes it's the closest one to us, like our family members or friends, and they're just like, you can't accomplish this. You can't date that. Who do you think you are trying to uh, date that? We don't talk to people like that. It just, okay, uh, you know, heartbreak after heartbreak. However, you're sick and tired of the trapeze act people pull on you. All right, sunrise, sunset, 
comes a new day out of this tunnel here. All right. Uh, so it is good to cry when you need to. I feel like a lot of you, it, it's just like you do not want to show that emotion. All right. I get it. Again, fellow Earth sign here. Uh, and it's just like, you know, again, having to go into the other room and like have a breakdown, but like have to keep it together really quick. All right. Uh, but we're not going to really concentrate on that now because we're looking to the future. So uh, you will probably not necessarily need that waterproof mascara, but it's just like, honey, stop crying because you're going to mess up your makeup because look at who's here. Somebody here is just like, I've seen it. I've been there. I've done that, you know, and uh, I see you for who you are and I love you. This is wonderful. This is fabulous. All right. Possibly meeting somebody. And it's just like, I want that old romantic love. I do. Uh, I, I was mentioning on it uh, for, for my channel, whatever. I was using that as an example, like Modern Love by David Bowie. You know, uh, may that may that man or that being rest in peace. Let me tell you something uh, ahead of his time. And also, you know, the modern love. It's very scary too to go on Internet dating. The, the catfishes out there, right? And it, it's just like, okay, again, I, I've often referred, you know, the dragon sitting on the treasure there, you know, the sleeping dragon there, like, you know, I'm calm, I'm in a good place, don't, don't, don't come in here, wave on your, on your horse, you know, uh, waving your swords around thinking you're going to slay me, honey, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, absolutely not. However, there is somebody here, they're very subtle, uh, I'm almost like sensing somebody kind of uh, awkward, you know, because they are so infatuated, so in love with you. This is meant to be, uh, okay, and there, there may be a few stumbling blocks, like maybe miscommunication, stuff like that. Your friends chiming on in being like, oh, honey, you know, uh, he or she is just like, they're weird. They're, they're weird. Like, are you sure? You know, could look different than you. Could, uh, you know opposites attract type of thing. However, this person has been through the same thing too. And I'm really liking this energy here. And it's just like, you know, I'd like to maybe date you or something, but I'm not going to fall for this. And they're just like, okay, I'll give you your space. That's fine. But they're still like admiring you in a non-stalkerish way. Uh, Hopefully none of you are, are dealing with that type of stalkerish energy, but we're not going to get into stuff like that. It's just like <laughs> that, that. That's just like a, a bad record, you know, replaying over and over and over again. It's like, all right, please. And also, too, uh, this is wonderful because people that may have tried to destroy your relationships in the past or may have been successful at it, third party situations, stuff like that, all those fears, all that, you know, BS, this person's not going to... Uh, allow that all right this person is actually somebody who is there for you so i am loving this you know you have the uh swan here you know swans with a longer neck there so, uh, swans you know typically very quickly could represent love you know uh but they do have the longer necks because they've had to dive in deep if you will you know to get to the uh bottom where they eat the allergy all right, so also, too, uh, feeling like not good enough. Uh, a lot of stuff, a lot of karmatic debt has been paid off. Karmatic cycles have been broken. You know, that ugly duckling story, like the they made fun of the ugly duckling because it was different or looked different. And, you know, uh, that lonely feeling, having to do it on your own all the time, having that fear of uh, having to maybe trust somebody else with something, you know, especially your heart, those walls being built up brick. You want to talk about solid foundations? Uh, yeah, don't try to uh, deceive a, a Virgo, um, you know, lie to them. They got that wall built. <clears throat> Foundation that will not be destroyed. Only they can do that. So watch out for that self-sabotage or, or people putting that mind seed like in your – in. Uh, you know, your head there, everyone's tricks and, and this and that in the past, as long as you want this relationship to work, it will, and it will be wonderful. It, look at the look on her face. She's just like, so unimpressed, just like, honey, that ugly duckling, look at it. It turned out to be a gorgeous swan. You've got this. 
Look at everyone turning their heads at you now, whether you feel beautiful, handsome or not. You know, you are successful. All right, so let's take a, a couple more cards here and look a little bit further on into this. All right. Ooh, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> All right, so the Capricorn, uh, what is considered the Capricorn uh, card just jumped out here. And I'm not trying to like, I'm just going to show it. Okay, uh, so you have the Devil card right there. That's not to scare anyone. And I understand how the imagery here could look uh, very uh, scary. However, I mean, let's look at it a little bit closer. Like, look at that. What are those six? What's that? Six pack? One, two, three, eight pack? Maybe like a 12 pack or something like that. That, uh, you know, this person is just like, could also be possibly maybe another earth sign other than yourself. So Virgo, 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 Capricorn, uh, Virgo, Taurus, maybe. However, it's just like, all right, you, you're, you've been fighting those, um, you know, metaphorically speaking, demons, if you will, whether it's been within yourself, whether it's been with other people, perhaps uh, going through this ascension process, waking up, you're seeing things and it's just like you're seeing things for what they really are. And that's very scary, too. However, again, when we're working with Archangel Michael, all right. Uh, that's also working with the flame right there. All right. Uh, throwing that stuff into the uh, fire, metaphorically speaking, if you will, you know, and burning that all away. Possibly somebody here is getting their body together, honey. And uh, if there's any diets out there, anything that you are all trying, please feel free to leave comments below because, uh, yeah. <laughs> However, uh, this is great. You're, it's almost like feeling a little bit devilish, feeling a little bit playful. However, you don't want to get burned, you, you know. Uh, so let's see. What else do we have going on here? What else? What else? What else here? Somebody may be trying to like, you know, again, if, if they do try to like, you know, ruin your relationship, business, friendship, uh, try to tear you and your family apart. Maybe they might have been successful in the past. But, honey, they're dealing with a Virgo and you're nobody's you're nobody's fool. Nobody puts baby in the corner, and if you do, shame on you. Uh, we have the Ten of Wands here, last and certainly not least. So this is uh, Ten Numerology, Angel Numbers, very quickly, completion to a cycle. I forget who else I pulled this for. Feel free to check out the other readings as well. Not sure if it was for Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, maybe even... Um, I I'm not sure as far as that goes. But again, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So 10 completion to a cycle. Completions can be painful or they can be fabulous. I'm seeing this more fabulous. All right. You've got this, this burden on your back. You having to take care of everybody else's problems. Done. It's, it's a done deal. All right. This is wonderful. This is great. I hope that this uh, short message was helpful to somebody out there and I'll see you all later.